Yo, 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 what's going on, people? Boss Man CNB Outdoors. I'm in the kitchen today, and I will be pickling cucumbers for the first time. It's a pretty simple process. You can watch 100 videos, man, until you turn blue in the face, but what it all boils down to is how you want your pickles to taste. Everybody got different taste buds, and everybody use different spices. So once you figure out what spices you want to use, and uh, the brine water is pretty much equal portions of vinegar and water. Right now I got my mason jars uh, boiling uh, for sanitation. And uh, I got everything lined out. Let me show you the spices that I'm using for my pickles. So here are my spices. I got fresh dill, pimentos, black peppercorns, I got onion, I got fresh garlic, I got my pickle spices, spice blend right here. I got some pickle, some dill pickle seasoning, sea salt, bay leaves, crushed red peppers, and I got minced garlic, and I got the sugar for the brown water, and uh, and this is pretty much everything that I'm gonna use for my pickling. Everybody, like I say, everybody have different taste buds and everybody use different spices, but you use the spices that you wanna use. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm probably gonna make like three different kinds of uh, cucumbers. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a couple spicy ones, not too hot because I can't, I can't do the, the real, real hot stuff. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of red peppers for for about i think i got like nine bottles so i'm gonna make three spicy i'm gonna make three with onion and the garlic then i'm gonna make three just regular so that's the plan but like i said i got my jars over here i was boiling the mason jars to sterilize them so they pretty much ready. Here go my vinegar. Like I said, you can use equal portions. I got apple cider vinegar. I think I got enough for a cup. But if you're gonna use, I'm gonna use four cups of vinegar to four cups of water. But if I use, if you're gonna use a cup of apple cider vinegar, so you just substitute one of the uh the white vinegar so you use three white vinegars and one cup of apple cider vinegar and you still use your four, four cups of water i got my jaw grabber right here grab your jaw like this when they hot you don't have to pick it up with pick it up with your bare hands and so that's pretty much it i got my cucumbers lined out they already been washed, but I'm gonna wash them again. I got a few cucumbers up here I gotta use. I'm gonna try to pickle all these cucumbers I got up here. I got a whole nother set over here. But today, I'm gonna do these. I gotta get these. These were some of my first pickings. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these out the way while they still fresh. But that's it, man. Y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna get everything ready. So I hope y'all enjoy the video. Peace. Yo, yo, all right, I'm back. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna go ahead and set my bottles up with my spices. Since this is my first time doing this, I'm gonna take it one step at a time, people, one step at a time, so. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get my bottles ready and then I will cut the cucumbers up. So y'all stay tuned. All right, people, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my spices in my jars I got my spices already out so this spice blend has everything already in it it has your garlic mustard seed dill seed dill weed and coriander it has everything you need already in here so a lot of people, what they do is 
they buy all of this ingredient separate. You can do that, but why buy it all separate when it all comes in this spice blend right here. Call it lazy, call it what you want, but it is what it is. So in the smaller jars, they put a teaspoon. So by this being a 32 ounce jar, I'm gonna put a tablespoon in each one. That should do it on a spice. It is what it is. Might be too much, I don't know. It might not be too much, it might be just right. This is my first time, I won't know until I've tried it. So next I'm gonna put, uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do two red peppers, I'm gonna do three garlic and onions, and then I'm gonna do three garlic by itself. I'm gonna go ahead and grab me some onion, put me some onion in a couple of them. Drop a couple pieces of onion in there. So next what I'll do, I'll drop a clove of garlic in each one. And since, uh, since boss lady love garlic, I'm gonna go ahead and put two in each one. That's, on, that's it on the cloves of garlic. On the minced garlic, uh, I think I'm only gonna put, um, I'll put a teaspoon. I'll put a teaspoon in each one. It is what it is. All right, that's it on the minced garlic. So next, I will put a couple I'll put a couple peppercorns in each one. Not too many, just a couple. Ah, uh, that's too much. Sit on the peppercorn. Next, I'm gonna put the crushed red peppers in the ones that's gonna be spicy. I'm not gonna use. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit less than a teaspoon. That's it, that's all I'm putting in there because I do not want them to be too hot. Son of a gun. Good God Almighty. They had that joker on there. So I'll put a teaspoon of pimentos in there in each one. That's it on the pimentos. Then I got this dill. You know what? I'm not gonna use this. So next, bay leaves going in last. So here got my deal that I'm gonna use. I got this from HEB. So I see a lot of people a lot of people just put in like one stalk. 
in each bottle. And then I see some people put a whole bunch in there. So I guess, I don't know. Maybe I put like half. I put like, I put like half in each bottle. Might be too much, I don't know. So that's all the deal I'm gonna use. So I got my bottle set up. So next, so all of the spices are supposed to be smashed down to the bottom of the jar. So let's see if I can get them smashed to the bottom pretty much. All right, so there it is. All right, so on the cucumbers, I'm gonna cut some up in medallions, and I'm gonna cut some in spears. We'll start with some of the smaller ones, and I'm gonna cut these up in medallions. So what you wanna do, cut the, cut the ends off, about so far back. And uh, you don't wanna cut them too thin. Cut them kind of thick, maybe like quarter inch. So that way they'll stay crispy. They won't get soggy on you. Now I'll leave them one like that. enough to fill up a jar yet. All right, y'all, so I'm back. I had camera issues. So I got one hot, one onion, and one garlic. So the rest will be spears. I have one spears hot, two spears for uh, the onion, and two spears for the garlic. Or should I just do more pickles? I'll stay tuned while I get these all pickled up. So I guess these spears are pretty long enough. I think I'm just gonna cut them. I 
down the middle. Like that. Big spears. But fitting up perfect. Try to stuff as many as I can in there. If your cucumbers are kind of big, you can cut them more than two times. You can cut them like three times. Uh, I'm gonna have to take a little off of this. Cut this one three ways since it's kind of big. One more. That's it, that's gonna do it for that jar right there. So you can see it. I think it's gonna work. Get you in there, baby. I'ma get you. I'ma get you in there, baby. Come on. Yes, sir. I'ma get you in there. Might have to do a little squishing and squashing, but I'ma get you in there. I got you in there, baby. That's what I'm talking about, baby. So this is what we got. I got eight bottles ready. I got two with the red pepper flakes. I got three garlic and onions, and I got three with just garlic. So let me show you what I got. I got them covered up to keep anything from getting in them. So got all my spices at the bottom. Deal. Got them cut up. Look pretty good to me. Like I said, this is the one with the red pepper flakes in it. Here go the spears. And 
That's it, man. That look pretty cool to me, man. Look like I know what I'm doing. All right, so next, I'm gonna get my brine ready. I know I could have had my brine going while I was working on my jaws, but I ain't wanna move too fast. I wanna take everything one step at a time since this is my first time, so. All right, next, y'all, we're gonna do the brine. My brine is gonna consist of three cups of distilled white vinegar, one cup of apple cider vinegar, four cups of water, two tablespoons of sea salt, and a tablespoon and a half of sugar. So as far as the salt go, you don't want to use regular salt. You want to use sea salt or either pickling salt. So I don't have no pickling salt, so I'm going to use sea salt. It's all right to use sea salt. So, and that's it. Let's get it done. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna start out with the vinegar first. Got your measuring cup. This is a four cup measuring cup. I did that wrong. I was supposed to do three cups of distilled vinegar. So let me put a cup back in here. Where we at? That's three cups? Yep, that's three cups. Three cups of distilled white vinegar. And I think I got a cup, enough for a cup of apple cider vinegar. We gonna see. It might not be enough, but it might not be a cup, but it might be enough. Hey, it is a cup. On the dot. Look at that, Pete. Right on the dot. A cup. Move that out the way. Like I say, sea salt. It's gonna be two tablespoons. I'll put a little bit more in there, like a half. And then a tablespoon and a half of sugar. Tablespoon. Hey. And that's it. Then we want to put four cups of water. Put it on the back, bro. So we're gonna bring that to a ball until the salt and the sugar dissolve. Then we'll come over here and fill up these babies over here. Y'all stay tuned. The sugar and the salt has dissolved and we had a rolling ball. We ready, Freddy. And I also got my cannon water also warming up. So 
we can go ahead and turn this off. And uh, we can start pickling. Y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all. So here go the moment of truth. I'm hoping I got enough. If not, I'm gonna have to make some more. It is what it is. You do this without making a mess. Boss later, kill me. See how this gonna come out of here first. not gonna be enough. I'm about to make some more brown. You want to fill it all the way up just about a half inch from the top. Making sure all, making sure your cucumbers are submerged completely. I'll just go ahead and fill this one up. I know it's not gonna be enough, but I'll just go ahead and put it in there. It might fill it up. No, it's gonna be short. Oh, we're gonna make it, people. We're gonna make it. We gonna make it. Yes, sir. We made it. All right, so now I know that four cups of brine is only gonna fill up four 32 ounce jars. If you're doing eight 32 ounce bottles, so you'll know the next time that you'll need eight cups. So remember that. I remember that also. So now I gotta make four more cups and I'm out of apple cider vinegar. You don't have to use apple cider vinegar. You can just use straight distilled white vinegar. Hey, boss lady just came in and saved the day. Had some more apple cider vinegar put up, so I guess I'll go ahead and make some more brown. Y'all stay tuned. All right, so while we waiting on the brown, the other batch of brown, you wanna go ahead and clean your bottles off to make sure they get a proper seal. Well, first, you know what? I need to do this here. You kind of like want to tap on your bottle. I'll go down off up in there from the sides to see if any air bubbles are going to come up. Shrink. 
they're not quite covered all the way up. They covered up enough, but they'll shrink once uh once they ball. All right, so now you can go ahead and clean your tops off to make sure you get a proper seal. These are clean already. I already know they're clean. So. You just want to put them hand tight like that. Once you put them in the boiling water for the canning process, you want to make sure they're not too tight. They have to have room for the air to escape, so you don't want them too tight. So these are ready. All right, here we go, y'all. Second batch of brine ready. You want to leave about a half inch of head space. There we go. Got enough. All right, so we want to get your little plastic knife and run down the sides of your bottle, and that'll help any. Air, air bubbles trap inside the bottle that'll help them come up. And in some cases you might have to add a little bit more brine. Clean your lids off. Should be good. All right, now you can seal it, seal it up. Just hand tight. All right, people, there you have it. Finished product. All right, people, so we through with the canning process. So next we're gonna put them in the boiling water for 15 minutes. All right, so here we go. Hopefully it won't. All right, so this is about how much water you want in your pot. Right above the lids is where you want it. Now you want to boil these jars for about 15 minutes, but you don't want to start your timer until the water actually starts to boil. So we're going to wait until this pot get up to temperature and starts to boil. And then that's when I'll start my 15 minute timer. Y'all stay tuned. Almost ready people, almost ready. We're gonna let them go for about four more minutes. All right y'all, so they should be ready to come out. Yes sir.
want to be careful. You don't want to drop now. It's hot. You don't want to bump one bottle to the next. By it being so hot, they're easy to crack. Yo, 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 what's going on, people? Hey, I'm through with the first batch. So what we're doing right now, we're gonna let these jaws cool off for about 30 minutes. Once these jaws start to cool off, they start creating a vacuum. And once they create a vacuum, you'll hear these tops start to pop. If you don't hear the tops pop, that means they're not sealed. So we're gonna pray that they all seal. We'll check all of them in about 30 minutes to see. And I'll try to I'll try to catch some of them on film as they start popping. And the way to check these lids, once they finish cooling off, you can press them in the center. And if you press it in the center and if it it has, if it has like a, a sponge, a sponge motion in the center where it sinks down and pop back up, that means it's not sealed. So, and by it not being sealed, you can't uh, preserve it. You're gonna have to put it in the refrigerator and you're gonna have to eat it. So, I mean, it is what it is. It's a learning lesson. Sometimes something be wrong with these tops and they won't seal all the way. So. I mean, it's not, it's not your fault. It's not nothing you did, so it is what it is. But we'll check them in a minute, man. Y'all stay tuned. We won for eight, people. We won for eight. Just heard one pop. Let's see if I can get one on film. They go two. We two for eight, people. We two for eight. Can I get a three? Can I get a three for eight? Three for eight. They go three for eight, people. Can I get a four? Can I get a four for eight, people? They go four. They go four. Can I get a five? Where you at, five? Can I get a five? So all of them are sealed except this one, this one, and that one. There go five, as soon as I pointed at it. Can I get a six? Where you at, six? I think six might already pop. I think one popped before I started, so we might be on seven and eight. So let me see. I can kind of look at the lids and tell if they've been sealed already. Oh. Yeah, we on, we on seven and eight. I, I missed one. So we on seven and eight. These two right here. Come on, can I get a seven? Can I get a seven? Where you at, seven? We gonna go eight for eight or what? We gonna, I need to go eight for eight. Come on, where you at, seven? There go seven, there go seven. Can I get an eight? Where you at, eight? This eight right here. There go eight, baby. That's it. They all seal, baby. Yo, 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 that's it, baby. My first cannon was a success. All eight of my jaws sealed, man. So I did it right. All my jaws sealed, so they should last a good year or two. I'm not gonna open one of these jaws until about two or three weeks. They say the longer they sit, the better they taste. So I'm not gonna open it until about two or three weeks. I got a few more cucumbers I gotta do, so I'm gonna start back up tomorrow. I appreciate y'all tuning in to my first canning, and uh, stay tuned for the next one, man. I'm out of here. Peace.